everybody, this is Will Doggett. Hope you're having a fantastic week. Uh, you know, I'm an Ableton Live certified trainer. I talk often on this channel about using Ableton Live, performing on stage, um, music performance, all sorts of things. But I want to break that for a moment to talk about Zoom calls. Man, how much do you love being on Zoom calls? If you're like me, you spend the past few months on inc an incessant amount of Zoom calls, just constant, right? It never ends. And I see article after article and people complaining about why Zoom calls are so bad and why we hate them so much. So what I want to do in this video is share five tips on how to improve your Zoom calls without spending any money, right? Five things you can do right now. And if we all do these, then our world's going to be a lot better. So let's take a look. All right, so let's get started. Now, how many times have you been on a Zoom call with someone and as they start the call, the first thing they say is, can you, can you hear me? Can, can you hear me? Can you see me? I don't know if you can hear me and see me. Or they get on and they you start talking and they go, right? How many times have you done that or been the recipient of that? It's almost every Zoom call I'm on. So I want to show you one way that you can prevent that from happening. And again, this is one where really, if we all do this, every Zoom call will be improved. So tip number one is check your audio and video settings before you hop on the call. Here's how to do it. One, open the Zoom app. I'm on a Mac, but you want to go into preferences. So I'm going to hit command comma. Okay. And once you get into preferences, you want to go to the audio tab. Let's talk about audio. Then we'll talk about video. First step for audio. I want to make sure that the people that will be on the call can hear me. If I'm talking, see this input level here that's going from red to green. If I'm talking, then that means they can hear me. Now, a good surefire test to make sure everything's going to be good is I'm going to click test mic. Test, 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 check. One, two, three. Right? You hear it? So it's going to record a uh, just brief snippet of your audio. And then when you click it again and record it, um, you're going to be able to hear it. If you hear your mic right here, then everyone else on the Zoom call will be able to hear your mic if they have their speaker set up. We'll get to that in a moment. So um, number one, test your audio and video beforehand. And the first step of doing this is testing your mic. If you hear your mic here, and if you have the correct mic uh, connected and selected, then everyone else should be able to hear you. Then the second piece of this is you need to make sure you can hear them. So if I just check my mic, but I don't check that I can hear them, it's possible I get on the call and I'm talking, other people are talking and I can't hear them. This is how we do that. I'm gonna press test speaker up here. Okay. If I hear that audio, then I'm going to be able to hear everyone else on the call, right? If I don't hear that audio, you're not going to be able to hear everyone. So don't just breeze through this right away and think, oh, I got it. Um, if your setup changes a lot like mine, I'm in a home office here. My wife uses this space. My kids use this space when they're doing uh, virtual Zoom calls for school. Um, it changes often. I'm using headphones. I'm using uh, headphone adapters like uh, this guy here. Uh, I've got a dock plugged in, an audio interface, so I always check that to make sure everything's good, right? So if I uh, talk in and test my mic and can hear it, too, if I test my speaker and I can hear it, then I'm good to go as far as audio. Now let's go to video. So I'm going to go over to video. You may be like me uh, and have multiple sources uh, connected to your computer. You may just have a FaceTime camera connected. Go here to video. Hey, look, that's me. Go to your camera settings and choose whatever your camera is. Maybe it's FaceTime. Right. There we go. Man, that looks terrible. Or maybe it's a DSLR connected to your computer like I have right here. Go into this window um, to check to make sure that you can see it. If Zoom can see it here, it's going to see it in the call. Right. Does that make sense, everybody? Hopefully so. Um, also, it's a good chance to just check, make sure, you know, the hair, everything looks good. My background looks good. You can't see anything that you shouldn't see. And all that looks good. So, Tip number one to improve your Zoom calls without spending any money whatsoever is check your audio and video beforehand. And you can do that in preferences. Test, test your mic, test your speaker, and then test your video to make sure it works. All right, let's talk about our number two tip for improving our Zoom calls. How many Zoom calls have you been on where um, this is exactly what they look like the whole time, right? Why does it look like this? Because I'm talking to my computer screen where I see people instead of talking to my camera. So tip number two to improve your Zoom calls without spending any money whatsoever is talk to the camera. Do not look at your computer screen. Now, um, this might feel a little awkward as if you're staring into someone's soul. So, you know, break the, the look away just like you would in a normal conversation. Maybe briefly look away if you're mentioning something, you can look away or occasionally look at your computer. Uh, you might even want to move your computer screen somewhere to where it's nearby. 
But when you're talking to people, especially if it's a really important conversation, um, I, I've been completely amazed at the amount of sales people that I've talked to recently, support people that I've talked to recently that are really, really bad at this, right? Imagine being in a face-to-face -face conversation with someone and they never make eye contact with you. What, is, what does that tell us? When people are doing this when we're talking, it means we think we can't trust them. Maybe they're lying. So number two tip to improve your Zoom calls without spending any money is don't talk to your computer screen, talk to the camera, right? So pretty easy, pretty simple. Practice it. It's a little weird. It's easier if you have like a FaceTime camera built into your computer. I'm looking at this and my screen's a little lower, but I'm going to talk to the camera instead of the computer screen. It's more personal and it feels more like real life. Number three, stop using Wi-Fi. Instead of using Wi-Fi, grab one of these guys, old fashioned ethernet cable and plug this guy in. Now that might mean you have to be near your router and you know, I'm, I'm in my closet of the master bedroom where I have my home office set up, but by plugging in the ethernet cable, it improves the connection and improves the experience for me and improves the experience for other people. If you ever on a zoom call and, and you know, starts to break up, you can tell if it's your connection or their connection. One, if it's your connection, it's going to tell you your internet is unstable. If it's their connection, you're going to see the bars turn from green to yellow to red, right? And most often, it's other people's issue, um, not your issue, if you are hardwired to Ethernet. Now, again, that may seem like an inconvenience, but again, it would be like showing up to a sales call in shorts and a t-shirt and flip-flops when you're selling a million-dollar item and just going, I, you know, it doesn't matter, right? We've got to put our best face forward and Ethernet is going to help you do that. So again, step number three uh, to improve your Zoom calls is to use an Ethernet wired Ethernet connection and stop using uh, wireless. All right. So let's talk about number four. For that, I'm going to start a new meeting here and I'm going to go into my Zoom meeting. Okay. This is probably the most important thing uh, I can stress that's going to improve your Zoom calls is use mute often. Right. So Tip number four to improve your Zoom calls without spending money is to mute your audio. Here's the general rule. You hop on a Zoom call with multiple people. If you are not talking, click mute, right? Um, here's the other thing I will suggest with that. I talked about five tips. I'm going to throw this in as a 4A, 4B, 4C thing. Do not use the space bar to mute and unmute like this, right? See how it says temporary unmuted. Um, don't move the Zoom window somewhere else and try to use a keyboard shortcut or some sort of widget. Leave the Zoom window front and center. Keep your mouse hovered over it. And when you're ready to talk, click and talk and then click to unmute, right? The reason I say space bar is I've been on so many Zoom calls with someone where they say, uh, Tom, what do you think about that? And they press space bar thinking it's working, but they're in another window and they start. And what does everyone do? Every Zoom call, hey, you're, you're, you're still muted. You're not unmuted. Spare us all and just leave the window in the forefront and go down here to unmute and mute. And when you're not talking, click mute. And when you are talking, obviously stay unmuted. So that is number four, okay? Now, how many times have you been on a Zoom call and while someone's talking just constantly, left and right, you hear Slack, email, uh, messages, all sorts of notifications just dinging constantly, right? Um, we'll talk about another tip. I'll give you a bonus six tip here in just in a moment that we'll solve that as well too. Um, but, or maybe they're sharing their screen and while they're sharing their screen, you see their text messages pop up or an email that pops up that says, Hey, remember to fire Tom before the end of the zoom meeting, because Tom keeps messing every zoom call up. You don't want people to discover that early. So here's what I would suggest is silence. Tip number five to improve your zoom calls without spending any money is silence notifications. Now you might be on a PC and I'm sure there's a way to do that. If you're on a Mac, the fastest way to do that is go to the upper right hand corner, click the option key and click the notifications bar. That's gonna make sure uh, no one hears or sees your notifications uh, during your meeting. And again, what's nice about that is you can do that without clicking into the notification bar and disabling notifications so no one can see it, which is great. All right, so that's five ways you can quickly improve your Zoom call without spending any money. I wanna share a sixth bonus tip, right? And this one will definitely help with the notification thing. And that is to wear 
headphones, right? Um, this seems like such an obvious thing, but wearing headphones is going to improve the experience for everyone. Have you ever been talking? Yeah. What's that? Yeah. So, and in the middle, you're cutting each other off. It's because your mic is picking up the, uh, your speaker, which when they're talking, it's cutting you off. It's cutting them off. It's a terrible experience. So wear headphones. Now, along with that, what I would suggest is if you're a musician, um, then you likely are at an advantage right now because musicians that perform on stage or uh, front of house engineers often wear what's called in-ear headphones. Now, this is a player, uh, a, a, a set of all clear in-ears, um, and these are custom molded for my ears. You can buy really inexpensive in-ears um, on Amazon. I'll, I'll link to a couple below that are in-ear uh, headphones that are not custom, but the benefit of using these is I can put these in and wear headphones without you ever noticing. So bear with me for a moment. All right, so I'm gonna drop these in my ears. And then two really important next steps. I'm gonna take this cord and instead of plugging it into my computer and having the cord dangling all over uh, in front of my shirt, I'm gonna drop it down the back of my shirt like this. Now, I cheated because uh, I said you don't have to spend any money and you like to spend some money to one, get some in-ear headphones, but two, um, to get a headphone adapter. Now this particular one is an eighth inch uh, male to eighth inch female, okay? And what this does is I'm gonna plug this into my computer, into my computer's headphone jack, all right? And then I'm gonna take the other side of this, which again uh, is the female side, and I'm gonna grab this part of my in-ear and plug this in, okay? Get this where you guys can see this. And then set this down to my side, readjust my in-ears, tighten this guy up. And now what's nice about that is one, you can barely see my in-ears, which is great. Um, and then two, I have that extension so you don't see a cable hanging down the front of my shirt, right? You're not talking like this to someone. You can really make progress even using uh, iPod headphones like I showed earlier with just a headphone extension cable like that. I think this one was three or four bucks from Amazon. It's really, really inexpensive. And again, I think this is really important for people that are salespeople. You're on calls where uh, you need to you know, present your best self, look professional, don't have cables hanging all over the place. Uh, uh, buy a headphone extension and if possible buy in-ears. It's really going to help. So to recap, tip number one to improve your Zoom calls without spending any money whatsoever is check your audio and video beforehand. Test your mic, test your speaker, test your video. If you can do that, everyone will be able to see here and you'll be able to hear everyone really, really well. Number two is remember to look at the camera up here, not the screen, right? That's going to make everything more personable and make uh, people feel like you're really connecting with them. Number three is connect your ethernet cable. Stop using Wi-Fi. So plug in directly into your, um, your router uh, and use an ethernet cable. It's going to improve your connection. You'll be able to hear, see better as well as everyone else will also. Tip number four to improve your Zoom calls without spending any money whatsoever is to mute your mic whenever you're not talking. And again, leave the window in the forefront, don't move it, and don't use any silly kind of shortcuts. Uh, just click the button to mute your mic. Tip number five to improve your Zoom calls without spending any money, make sure to silence the notifications so that we one, don't see them, two, we don't hear them. And then our bonus tip, Tip number six is to get some in-ear headphones and if possible, get a headphone extension. Even if you don't have in-ear headphones, use iPod headphones or some sort of headphones and buy a headphone extension so that people don't see the cable running down everywhere. So there you have it, five plus one bonus tip on how to improve your Zoom calls without spending any money. Thanks so much for watching everybody. Take care. We'll talk to you later. Bye.